God already understands what life has for us. God already understands that there will be mountains in our way. God understands that there are going to be valleys in our way. But we still need to understand, Father Brother and Sister, that we're on a journey. Yes, we are. And to be on a journey simply means to be moving, to make it yes. progress, to be going forward. Yes. To be on a journey, Brother and Sister, means to move from one place to another. Yes. And when we look here, and we read Psalms 121, you know, a lot of times we read these Psalms so fast, we don't give ourselves time to think about it. But what is happening in Psalms 121, there's a traveler. This is somebody that's on a journey. This is somebody that is going somewhere. And in the process of them going somewhere, brothers and sisters, they're trying to get us there. They're trying to open up our minds. They're trying to get us to see the big picture. Because see, what we do a lot of times, they're reading, you know, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from which come in my help, and my help comes from the Lord. But the Bible, that, that, that song, that particular scripture, verse 1, it is really saying a little bit more to us. It, it's really opening up a wider, wider picture for us to understand. It. And really the way it should be read is that it should be read, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, period. We have to stop right there. We, we don't need to go any further. Because see, what is happening is this, this traveler, this, this traveler is, is on his way to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And as always, we understand and we recognize it. I know that Jerusalem, it is, brother and sister, the capital city. We know that in Jerusalem is where God dwells. We know that as long as you're going to Jerusalem, everything is going to be all right. Uh -huh. yeah. But see, what we need to understand, but while we're on this journey, brother and sister, while this traveler is traveling to Jerusalem, this traveler is trying to let us and trying to get us to understand something. He says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Period. What the traveler was trying to get us to understand, and what we all need to understand is this. See, what he was really saying is that in the hills in Jerusalem, or on your way to Jerusalem, you're going to find some trouble. Mm -hmm. You see, so what he was saying is that I'm looking up towards the hills because I know that yeah. in the hills, there's some problems. In the hills, there's some trouble. In the hills, there's going to be some pain. There's going to be some heartache. Because, see, you remember the story of the Good Samaritan. See, the Bible says that as he was leaving Jericho, going to Jerusalem, what happened? The Bible says he fell upon who? Thieves and robbers. You see, what I'm trying to get you to understand, see, as we travel, as we journey, brothers and sisters, see, we're on our journey now. But our journey is not going to be easy. Yes, our journey is not going to be smooth sailing. Our journey is going to be rough. And so what the traveler is trying to get us to understand, right now, while I'm going towards Jerusalem, I know that I'm going to have some tests. I know that there are going to be some trial. I know that there are going to be some struggle. I know that there are going to be some heartache. Because see, there are some bandits in the mountain. There are some robbers up there in the mountain. And Travel towards Jerusalem, yes. I risk the chance of something, something terrible happening to me. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Yes. You see, we're on this journey, brother, so that it's Christian journey. Yes. And sometimes on this Christian journey, as the song says that he just saw, I think when we better see, I think I can hold on yes. Yes. just a little while longer. Yes. Because see, the journey now is getting rough sometimes. Yeah. On this journey, brothers and sisters, I say it's not going to be easy. No. We need to understand that trials and, and struggles are going to come yeah. on this journey. Yeah. There are going to be days where you're going to get discouraged yeah. on your journey. Yeah. There are going to be days, brothers and sisters, where you're going to really want to throw in the towel. Yeah. That is why Paul said, let us not what? Become weary and well joined. What Paul was trying to get us 
to see and understand that on this Christian journey, yes. as you're making your way towards that place yes. that we call heaven, yes. as we're making our way, dear brother and sister, Paul and let us know that it's going to get rough. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It's going to get hard sometimes. Yes. Yes. You're not going to go on this Christian journey, brother and sister, and don't think that you're not going to have a mountain or a valley in your way. There will be days of sickness. There will be days of hardness. There will be days of pain. But we're on this journey, brother and sister. And if you don't believe me, you can ask brother Job. Job, when you was on your journey, can you sort of tell me some things that happened in your life? And we all know the story of Job. Yes. Job was on his journey, brother and sister. Yes. And the reason why I know that he was on his journey, because at the end of the end, Job made this statement. He said, I know that my Redeemer lived. Yes. He said, and I know that in the latter day that he should stand. Yes. He, Job said, and I know that I shall see him yes. with my own eyes yes. and I, with the eyes of another. Yes. So Job, brother and sister, will let us know that even though the skin were yes. destroyed his body yes. and mind, yeah. Joe said, I ain't going to worry about nothing. Why? Because I'm on my journey now. Yeah. Yeah. You see, yeah. we're on our journey now, brother and sister. Yeah. And Joe can tell you I lost everything. Yeah. I lost my children yes. on the journey. Yeah. I lost my cattle Come on the journey. Yeah. I lost my wife on the journey. Yeah. But that's all right. He said, but I'm still going to stay on the road even though he's slaving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah, will I yes, trust in him? Yes, yes. Joe said, I know that you're going to go through some stuff because you're on the journey. See, the yeah. journey is going to be rough. Yes, mm -hmm. it will. Yes, it will. The traveler said, I will look yes, my eyes yes, will, unto the hills. Yes, oh, yes. Yes. Stop right there. Yes. Don't go no further. Uh -huh. Because then you will be giving it unjustly. You will not be treating it right. So while you're on this journey, uh -huh. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be some pain. Yes. Yes. While you're on this journey, sometimes you're going to be talked about. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's all right. You got to continue to press on the that's journey. So true. While you're on this journey, brother, sister, sometimes relationships are going to fall apart yes. on this journey. Mm -hmm. While we're on this journey, sometimes sickness is going to overtake this body yes. while we're on this journey. Mm -hmm. But brother, sister, the thing is, though, you still got to keep looking up. Yes, yes we have. You cannot afford not to look up because see, even though you know that there's bandits, even though, though you know that there are robbers, even though you know that in the process of you going towards Jerusalem, that something is going to happen, but it doesn't tell you to stop looking. I say the journey is not going to be easy, sir. No, mm. I said we're living in a time now. Yes, as Paul Lord. said we're living in, in some perilous times. Yes, we are. We're living in some dangerous yes, times. We are. And yes, all we, we have are. to do, we don't even have to read Second Timothy three anymore. All we have to do is uh, look at the Bible. Mm -hmm. You see the crime. You see yes. the murders. You, you yes. see the rape. You see. I, I mean, you look, you look at this big executive, this big billionaire. Look at what he was doing. Yes. Saints, I say, we're on a journey. Mm -hmm. We're on our spiritual journey, Saints, yes. but we cannot afford them to become weary. We cannot that. afford to stop, brothers. That's we cannot true. afford not to stop, to stop looking because, Saints, you don't know when they're going to attack you. Mm -hmm. You don't got to say that. See, the traveler was on his way to Jerusalem. And he knew that as long as he was on his way to Jerusalem, everything is going to be all right. Because, see, when you're traveling sometimes, see, even though you may consider yourself a child of God, right. you're a human as well. That's so right. true. See, when you think about Elijah when he was on his journey, brother and sister, uh -huh. Elijah became discouraged. Uh -huh. You see, on this journey, sometimes you will get discouraged. Yes, you sometimes will. you will want to question God. Yes. Sometimes you're not going to always understand right. what is going That's on right. on this journey. Right. Say, there are going to be some days you're going to wonder and somebody's going to want to ask God why. No, sometimes you have to yes, ask God, God why. Yes. If that's not the truth, then I will ask a backup while he was on his journey. Yes, yes, sir. The Bible said while he was on his 
John 8 that I know. He, he said the field's going to be destroyed. That's what he said. There ain't going to be no food in That's the what house. He said. I'm putting in labor's first. Oh, he right. said no cattle in the field. Yeah. He went on to tell us all the stuff that was going to happen. But oh, on yeah. his journey, uh -huh. what does Habakkuk say? Even though he was at question God, he said, God, even as God, why in the world? Yeah. Are you going to send somebody like these child demons uh -huh. to come up against us? Right. Somebody said, well, no, you better not question God. No, sometimes it's all right for you to question That's God. Right. As long as you question God, to you keep yourself going. That's Don't right. question God to turn back. Mm -hmm. Don't take question God to throw in the towel. So and the doctor said, but Amen. I'm still going to rejoice. Yes, sir. Yes. And the Lord of God, I my salvation. Yes. Yes. See, on this journey, you may lose some stuff, that's but right. that's all right. Mm -hmm. You got to keep on going. That's so true. I said, you can ask Brother Jonah. Uh -huh. He was on a journey. Yeah. Brother Jonah got disappointed because God told him to go somewhere where he didn't want to go. Uh -huh. Have you ever been disappointed on a journey? You better uh -huh. Yes. 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 Have, have, have times ever come to you yes. in your life on this journey where you felt like, oh, well, I mean, this ain't even worth it. Uh -huh. Disappointment yes. sets in. Uh -huh. Even though, brother, like I said, you're on the journey, remember, yes. there's bandits, uh -huh. there's thieves, yes. there's robbers uh -huh. in the mountain. Yes. So while you're on your Christian journey, uh -huh. you're going to go through some stuff. Yes. While you're on your Christian journey, say, yes. you're going to really feel like going in the tide. Yes. Yes. You're going to feel like giving up yes. sometimes. Yes. So you remember yes. when Jesus asked his disciples, said, will you also go away? Are, are you going to leave me too? Yes. Those 70, they got discouraged. Those 70, yes. they're in a sense of, oh, this thing is too hard for us. Mercy. See, the journey will be hard sometimes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand something that Paul said, even when we're weak, it's yes. then that we're strong yes. because yes. our strength yes. is made yes. perfect in him. I say sometimes this journey... Yes, brother, sister. Yes, yes you're going to feel weak. Yes, yes you're going to be tired. Yes, yes you're going to get up. Yes. Yes. But you're going to have to keep, keep on, on. Yes. keep on, keep it on. Yes. You cannot afford, brother, sister, to stop doing what you need to do Amen. on this journey. Yes. Paul said, I was shipwrecked on the journey. Yes. Yes. Paul said, I went through some stuff. I was beat. Yes. I was stoned. Yes. I was put in prison. Yes. I was hungry. Yes. I was cold. While I was on this journey, yes. Paul said, I rest glory yes. in my infirmities. Yes. That the power of Christ yes. may rest upon me. Yes. I said, We gotta keep on yes. keeping on saying yes. we cannot afford to stop as we're traveling on this journey. So true. But see, then as he said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Period. Yes. But verse 2, he Thank says something God. else. He Thank said, From whence cometh my head. Yes, From which uh, cometh yes. my head. Yes. For my help yes. comes from the Lord. Oh, yes. See, what the traveler was trying now to let us see, he said, even though we're going through this mountain, yes. even though I know that there's robbers and I know there are thieves and I know there's bandits up yes. there, he said, but I see something beyond the thieves. Yes. I see yes, something sir. beyond the rock. Yes, I see sir. something beyond yes, what can happen to me yes. and really destroy me. You yes. see, it's it just like when it was for Elijah. Oh, you remember when Elijah, when, when the Syrian army came to get Elijah? Uh -huh. And his servant, you know, went out and he looked around and, and, and he saw all the army, That's all right. the Syrian That's army right. all around the camp. Uh -huh. And he ran back in and he said, at last my master. What shall we That's do? Uh -huh. You see, this traveler, uh -huh. see, he saw something that the thieves and the bandits did not see. Uh -huh. See, while we're on this journey, uh -huh. we got to stop looking at our thieves right. and our bandits. Uh -huh. We got to stop oh, looking at our yes. problems and our situations. Uh -huh. We got to stop looking, let's hear it, the stuff that is said to yeah. us and about uh -huh. us. We got to worry about your broken relationship. Don't worry about how folks are treating you. You just need to look beyond the hills and go, he said, well, I will get the eyes of the yes. hills yes. when you come in my help. Yes. But my help yes. comes from the Lord. Yes. My help yes. comes from the Lord. Yes. Your help is yes. coming from the Lord. Yes. So I, I don't 
don't care what you're going through. And I haven't forgot about Elijah's story. I'm just trying to get you to where you need to get to. Yes. Now, yes. now the servant when he looked around and he saw the Syrian army and he ran back in and laughed, my master. Oh, what shall we do? Yes, How yes. many of you have found yourself in situations? Yes, yes, sir. And it seemed like everywhere you turned, you had problems. And yes, you had trials. And you had some bad days. Yes, and you felt like you just couldn't get through. Yes. And it seemed like everywhere you looked. But trouble yeah. on every hand. Yeah. Like Job said, I've been to my left, I've yeah. been to my right, yeah. I went forward, I yeah. can't perceive it. Yeah. Yeah. behind me. Job said, everywhere I turn, yeah. I had no feeling or no yeah. presence yeah. of where God was. Yeah. But Job said, but he know it the way that I take. Mm -hmm. And see, when you look around and you see all of your problems, yeah. you, Elijah when he went back yeah. out, he stepped out. And I can imagine how it was for Brother Elijah. Yeah. Now, they, they're looking for me. Uh -huh. And Brother Elijah started looking all around. Uh -huh. You see, they did not see what was behind him. You better know uh -huh. what I know. Uh -huh. yes, God had dispatched his uh -huh. angels yeah. from uh -huh. chariots of fire. Yeah. 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 And he walked back in. He didn't, he didn't run. He didn't slam me. He didn't even uh -huh. shut the door. Yeah. He just walked back in and said, God, please open his eyes yeah. he that see. he may see. Yes, sir. See, yes, while we're on this Christian journey, yeah. brother and sister, as you say, I will lift up my eyes yes, and the heels from yes. the coming my help. Yes. Period. Yes, there's a problem. Yes, yes, yes there's trouble. Yes, yes, there's struggle. Yes, yes. yes there's battles that we're going to yes. have to fight. Yes, yes there are going to be days yes. that's going to be hard. Yes, yes there's going to be times yes. you're going to cry and nobody's going to know what you're crying yes. about. Yes, yes there's going to be times, brother, yes. where yes. you right. want to give up. Yes, yes. there's going to be times yes. you're going to yes. wonder, God, where yes. are you? Yes, yes. there's going to be times yes. where you want to know what yes. in the world yes. is going on in my life. Yes. But all I have to tell you is that yes. when yes. I will lift up my eyes unto the heat, it's going to come in my help, but my help, but my help, my help, he says, it comes from the Lord. I'm going to look beyond the thieves and the robbers. I'm going to look beyond the bandits. I'm going to be just beyond all of my problems. I'm going to look beyond my broken relationship. I'm going to look beyond my heartache. I'm going to look beyond my pain. I'm going to look beyond my struggle. I'm going to look to God because that is where my help comes from. Saints, I don't care what you're going through. We need to realize and understand that God said I would never leave you. No way I would you. God has already promised us that I will put no more on you than you can around. And even though you're traveling, even though you're walking this path, brother and sister, you're not by yourself. The soul says never alone. You don't have to worry because you're you're never alone. I say you're gonna go through your tough times. You're gonna have your mountains and, and your valleys. And there's gonna be some days where you're gonna have your pity party. But that's all right, brother sister. My help. You gotta tell the devil. My help. My help comes from the Lord. I don't know where anybody else is help coming from. But I realize that my help is coming from the Lord. I realize that it's the Lord that's going to keep me. I realize that when my enemy shall come in like a flood, for the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. I'm not worried about that, brother, son. I'm not worried about being locked down. Because when I'm locked down, he picks me up. When I'm locked down, brother, son. He finds me. When I'm lost, he can find me. I'm not worried about it. Amen. We're on our journey now. Yes, we are. And our journey, brothers and sisters, is not going to be easy. No, you see, in the journey, you have a lot you're going to have to learn. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The devil is never going to yes. stop coming at you on your journey. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me? Ask the children of Israel. Uh -huh. Ask them. Yes. Every single time, everywhere they went, they found some kind of problem. Some, yes. Something All happened the in their life. Mm -hmm. All the time. And even with the leader, even Moses himself, brother, uh -huh. he found it getting tough sometimes uh -huh. on that journey. Yeah. God had already prepared folks for almost 80 some odd years. By the time he left Egypt to going up, becoming a sheep herder, and going up on the mountainside, it was almost, almost 80 years. Before Moses even started his ministry. 
But see, he didn't know the day when he took that journey and started off into the desert that God was preparing him. There will be times on your journey you won't even understand why or where you're going. But God is trying to prepare us. Uh -huh. God is trying to get us ready for the journey. Because see, their journey was supposed to be from Egypt to the promised land. Uh -huh. But you know, every now and then, like I said, we get a little hard here on the journey. Uh -huh. Every now and then we get stubborn because we ain't not going the way we want. Times we get hungry on this journey. Time we get thirsty That's on this journey. Yeah. Brother, so sometimes it's going to be like Moses. Uh -huh. You brought us out here that we may die. Uh -huh. And there were graves enough for us in Egypt. Uh -huh. well, we should have stayed there in Egypt. Uh -huh. That's the attitude sometimes that we have. Uh -huh. I should have stayed there. Uh -huh. I should have uh -huh. did this and I things we're on the journey. Yes. Uh -huh. And he never promised us. That the journey in the road was going to be easy. No, no. He never promised you that every day was going to be sunshine. No, he never promised you that you were going to have a smooth no, road no, to walk on no, every no, day. No, no. But you're still on your journey. Yes, I, so and true. you ought to know that my help, uh -huh. my help, yes, so. it comes from yes, the Lord. So. Mm -hmm. It's not in the hills, brothers and sisters. Yes, so. Because in the hills there are thieves, and the hills there are robbers, and the hills there are bandits. Yes. But brothers and sisters, be young yes. the hills. Our Lord is there. Uh -huh. yes. When you think about it. Yeah. So they were on that way to the promised land. Uh -huh. What did he tell them when they were in the mountain? You had, you had turned it around this mountain. Mercy. You have been around this mountain too long. Uh -huh. Sometimes on our journey, we find ourselves in situations that we should have been out of yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. Yes, so yeah. true. Yeah. We find ourselves still dealing with stuff that we should have been over with a long time ago. We find ourselves acting in ways that we still act that we should have been over a long time ago. We have been around this mountain too long now. It's time for you to go north. It's time for you to go in a different direction. How many times have you gone around the same old mountain? You're walking and you're walking and you're seeing the same old mountain, the same old mess, the same old stuff, and you're still walking, and you're still walking. Haven't you got it in our mind? Haven't we got it in our minds yet that something is wrong? You say you've traveled around this mountain too long now. You got to go north. Brother, sister, let me tell you something. See, we're all out into our heavenly promised land. And it's not going to be easy going there. You're going to have some battles. You're going to have your struggles. Mm -hmm. You're going to have your mountains. Uh -huh. Saints, you're going to have some battles that you're going to go through sometimes. Yes, there's going to be some weeping in the night. And your joy is going to come in the morning. But sometimes your joy may not even come in the morning. Mm -hmm. You see, on this thing called this, this journey that we're on, it don't always last a day. Uh -uh. It may last a week for some of us. That's right. That's some right. of us, it may be a month. Come it may be that. six months. It may be 12 months. Come it may that. be a couple of years. Come but the thing is this, thing: You got to learn to keep looking right. beyond the hill. Amen. You can't stay focused on the hill and what you see. You got to look beyond, beyond the hill. The hill. Because as long as we keep our eyes according to the book of Hebrew, yes. it says keep your eyes, brother and sister. Yes. On the one who have gone before you. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, we got to stay focused on Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And as long as we're focused on Christ, I'm here to tell you that you're going to be all right. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen. See, we're on a journey now. Uh -huh. And the journey is not going to be easy. No, it's not. Oh, Lord. There will be many days in your life it's going to be dark. See? But I'm here to tell you, just look beyond the hill. Uh -huh. The sun yes, is going to shine sun. again. Yes. There are going to be some days the rain seems like it's not going to stop in your life. But as long as you're building on the firm foundation, you're going to be all right. Amen. There are going to be some days, brothers and sisters, where it seems like I don't even want to get up out of You're going to feel like I don't even want to get out of the bed. But that's all right. You need to get up anyway. That's so true. You know that every single day, as sister thought things say, it's a new day for you. That's so true. Keep yes, your eyes up to the hill. You're on a journey now. Uh -huh. And finally, brother and sister, when we get to that promised land, yeah. I just encourage you with the simple words of Revelation 21. Uh -huh. And we all know about heart because it is one of my favorite. It is what keeps me going. It is what gives me hope. Yeah. 
That's right. John said he saw that new heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And he saw the new earth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. You see what happened? John began to look beyond the mountains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't look at his problems anymore. He didn't look at he thought that he was on Patmos anymore. He didn't look at that he was by himself now. He didn't look at the fact that I'm the last disciple now. John looked beyond all of that. Yes, sir. And he said, I saw a new heaven. Yes, he said, I saw the new heaven. Yeah. And the new earth. Yes, God. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Mm -hmm. He said, and there was no more sea. He said, I, John, I saw I the holy city. Yes, New Jerusalem coming down from God, preparing as a bride adorned for her husband. Now, John said, now, I know that in that other city. I know that on your way, there were some times that you cried. There were some times sickness came. There were some yes, times death came. There were some times sorrow came. He said, but in that new city, new city. Mm -hmm. there should be no yes, more crying. Mm -hmm. There should be no more tears. No more mm -hmm. There should be no more no death. More. There should be no more yes, sorrow. Yes. For the former things are passed away. Mm -hmm. And then behold, he said, I make oh, all things new. Yeah. In that new city, brother, new city. as we're on our way, yes. on our journey, Can't don't you know we're going to take the walk, the street, that are made of gold in that new city. In that new city, new city. we're going to make the spirit, yes, the yes. tree of life, yes, yes. our 12 man of fruit for the healing yes, of the yes. nation. In that new city, yes. we're going to take see the walls of Jasper, yes. the gates of yes. Earth, yes. and the view from the 12 foundation, brother, sister. Mm -hmm. I said, in that new city, brother, sister, we're going to be able to sit with our Lord and Savior yes. and yes. not yes. anymore. Yes. In the new city, he yes. said, there should be no more darkness because the glory and the light of God yes, shall be the light yeah, in the city. Yeah. What I'm trying to tell you, stop looking at your mountains right now that are around you and say, my brother, sister, I know that by him. Yeah. It mm -hmm. comes from the Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm on a journey now. Yes. And I'm not going to turn around. Mm -hmm. I'm on a journey now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going forward. Mm -hmm. I'm on a journey now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let nothing turn yes. me back. Yes. I'm on a journey now. Yes. I'm going to make it so. Mm -hmm. So you're on a journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get from. Yes. But don't give up. Yes, yes, You're on a journey now. Yes. It's going to get Lord, tough. Mm -hmm. But don't give up. Right. Amen. You're on a journey now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You're going to be talked about. Yes. But you got to learn to turn a deaf ear to some stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. You're on a journey now. Come on with that, Folks are going to walk away from you. Mm -hmm. But you got to realize that you are never alone. Right. Yes, sir. You're on your journey now. Mm -hmm. Saints, I will lift up my eyes into the hill. Yes, yes sir. For recover my help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But where does my help come from? Mm -hmm. My help comes from the Lord. Yes, sir. 